Hey Virgo, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance. So I'm not picking up the wrong deck. My bad, guys. But it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with your Torn in Between the Two series. And this is for the month of December for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Um, Virgo, if you haven't checked out the series before, it's one that I created in order to gauge third party energy. So this would be basically your energy towards your primary person versus your energy towards any third party that you could be entertaining. Um, and then we switch up the tempo and we get the cross watchers energy towards you and then towards any third party that they may be entertaining. Okay. All right. So we get a little well-rounded energy when it comes down to, um, what you got going on and your connection. All right, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button plus that post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Now let's hop straight into this video. All right, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, as it pertains to the astrological sign of... Virgo, please allow me to be a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for the astrological sign of Virgo for the month of December as it pertains to their love life and all parties involved, okay? Amen, Ashe. All right. Let's hop straight in. All right, Holy Divine Spirit. What is Virgo's current energy towards their primary person? What is Virgo's current energy towards their primary person spirit? What is Virgo's current energy between two worlds? I was kind of getting this for Aquarius as cross watcher as well. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you guys are definitely um, trying to meditate on which way to go here, all right? So you definitely are interacting in a third party. Um, somebody could be very new in your life, exciting, celebratory, high vibrational. Um, that can definitely be a messenger sent from the divine because I see hummingbirds or any birds for that matter in tarot as messengers. So this person can definitely be like a... Um, I don't know what hummingbirds represent, but I just see you stepping out of something that's very cloudy and that's been very dark for you into something that's more light. I definitely feel like whoever this is, you you do have like a friendship with this person right now because I'm getting like a friendship energy. Like this is somebody that you feel like you can have fun with. This person definitely... um allows you to embrace your royal energy your royal blood line energy it's like okay they remind you every day that you're a queen or a king here okay <laughs> so you're trying to meditate on what to do this person could even have you meditating maybe you never meditated before them and it's something you decided to do maybe it's been really helping you to elevate here helping you to grow helping you to get in touch with your higher self which is exactly what it's supposed to do so we got new life. It's in reverse. So you're not quite ready to embark on a new life, which is basically congruent with between two worlds. It's showing clearly that you're not quite ready. All right, let's get your energy towards your third person or third party. All right, Spirit, what is Virgo's current energy towards their third party? Mending. All right, so that's why you're not really ready for a new life because I feel like um, you have somebody here. Oh, some of you guys could definitely have some childhood wounds that was um, triggered by or started by some type of distorted feminine energy, which very well for some of you could be your mother's. If not, it could just be a series of bad relationships or that one bad relationship partner that kind of change your perspective as it pertains to love. Whoever this is, 
you could have definitely saw them as somebody that was like a very high level soulmate or somebody you was meant to spend the rest of your life with or a life partner. But with Yin being in reverse, this person isn't quite in their feminine energy. If it is, it's very distorted or toxic energy. And I feel like you could be trying to heal things with this person right now. And that could be the reason why even though you're happy over here or you're happy with this new friend, you're putting this new life on hold. It's like, let me just take the time to breathe. I mean, I feel like you feel like you got to tie up loose ends here. That's why mending can be here. If not, then there's definitely um, some healing that's taking place, like I said, because you have some traumas that have been basically invoked by some feminine, distorted feminine energy. All right, let's get one more. I kind of see yin in reverse as like the empress in reverse. So you could have had a series of relationships with women if you are the masculine Virgo where um, the love wasn't returned or it wasn't really a lot of nurturing energy or unconditional love between you and your, your partner. And now here you're feeling and experiencing that and it's so new to you that it could be foreign. You know, it could literally be something that you're not used to. All right. Let's get one more for how Virgo feels about their third party. Peace in reverse. So whatever the situation is, it definitely does disturb your inner peace is what I'm getting. And I feel like whatever this is that you're moving towards, it definitely gives you some type of inner peace. But uh, I don't know if you're ready to be honest with yourself. I feel like you are, but it's after a period of time. It's after a period of not being able to quite be honest with yourself about how you feel about this situation over here. Well, I'm definitely noticing that the third parties are definitely people that's trying to get over their exes and move into new energy. So, yeah. All right. So, why is between two worlds here for Virgo? Why is between two worlds here? Okay, so I definitely get that you guys are dragging out an ending with a past person. And that's the reason why between two worlds is here. Yeah. In addition to that, yeah, this was kind of unexpected. I feel like Virgos, this new person kind of came into your life unexpectedly. And it could have been an instant connection to the point where this person even almost expected you to like commit to them or want to be with them or move towards them. And I feel like you do want to do that. You just don't want to do it hastily because there is a need, you know, in between this last relationship and this relationship where you feel like you need to be single independent. You need to regain the sense of autonomy here. So I feel like you don't want to hastily embark on this new journey with this person that you feel like you can have a new life with. So you've been holding back the love. And maybe this person is telling you that you they love you. And they moving too fast for you. All right. So I feel like you want to pump the brakes on the situation here. Because even a chariot is a very fast moving energy. But here um, the horses are sitting down. Because somebody here wants to like delay the process. They don't want this to be too quick. And then we get in a fool. And it kind of came out in reverse. So you kind of stuck in between the worlds of wanting to hastily commit just as quick as this person, but maybe you're more logical than them and they're more like fairy tale. They definitely can have some low degrees in Neptune here. They could be a Neptunian and they could just be very fantasy and illusion based. So maybe they just go off of uh, love at first sight and whirlwind romances and stuff like that. And you just don't operate like that. Like you pace yourself in connections. So, all right, why is new love here? I mean, sorry, new life. Yeah, see what I'm saying? This person is already talking about marriage, cohabitating together, and I feel like they're moving a little bit too quickly for you. But this can definitely be somebody that's sure of themselves, know what they want. They met you, and you just fit the criteria, and they was just wanting to build with you. All right? All right, so we get the Queen of Swords in reverse. This person can definitely be a little shifty when it comes to how they talking too. Because maybe upon them realizing that you wasn't quite ready, they popped off. And that could have been another thing that made you take a pause. Like, you know what, maybe I need to think a little bit longer on if I should invest in this. Let's get one more for new life in reverse here. Why is new life in reverse here? 
Yeah. See, somebody here knows that they have to move away from something that they were already committed to. So, I feel like this person could just be making you feel rejected because maybe they ain't tell you about this person here. Maybe they didn't tell you they were stuck on the ex or they that they have on and off relations with this person. And maybe this person wasn't around when you first came around. But now they are. And you felt some type of shift in your connection with this new individual. And it could be because they did go back to an ex. Honestly. All right. So, why is Mindy here? Yeah, so whoever your person is, I feel like they given another offer or they have they have something solid and stable with whoever this is that they feel like they have unfinished business with. So they could have chose to stay with something that they're familiar with or you could be choosing to stay with something that you're familiar with is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. Yeah, you can't let go of this individual. They could be a Scorpio. They could be a Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah. And honestly, it's like no enthusiastic energy here. Like, I don't see a whole lot of passion. So I don't know if you guys are no longer having sex or if basically oh, so much of what this person does turns you off, Virgo. This person that you're trying to leave in your past. Or like I said, it can be very much of a money-based connection and not a whole lot of physicality or physical attraction here. If not, then I feel like things have become so old and stale in this connection here that you're trying to gain some type of, you're trying to regain some sense of passion because I feel like everything else could be there, but the passion is lacking. Why is yin in reverse here? It could also be this person's health too. I don't want to say sexual health. But the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Death in reverse definitely makes me want to makes me feel like that. All right. So yeah. Why is Yen in reverse? Why is Yen in reverse here? Look at this. Yeah, so you definitely, listen, you don't see any success coming from this. I feel like it's a, it's egoic purposes why you choose to stay connected to something that you don't see a victory being achieved out of. I feel like you decided to drop this new love, and that's the reason why new life is in reverse, is because you felt like you had to give something one last shot before you could actually move towards it, all right? With peace being in reverse here, I, I do feel like it's a lack of peace in the connection. You could be dealing with uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And this person could be very sexy, very alluring, you know, body shape nice, all of that. But I feel like this person either a conjure woman, they got a bad attitude. It's something here. And that's weird that I'm getting like negative vibes because essentially... The Queen of Wands is positive when she's an upright. She's a manifester. She is liked by women, looked up to by women, and loved by men. So you could have somebody like that, somebody that's really popular. But I feel like you don't want to give to this person anymore. Why is peace in reverse? You can't resist this person. It's weird because I'm getting the energy. Maybe it's one of you guys. I'm not going to lie. I feel like one of you lost passion for this and the other person is still weak for it. Virgo, you with your past person. Somebody lost passion here and the other person is still absolutely weak for this connection. One more for peace in reverse here. Mm, yeah okay so yeah you choosing to stay with this person but i feel like you still got a third party on your mind virgo why i mean if you're gonna work it out work it out all right spirit why is the tower here So, when you walked away from this other individual, 
it was definitely because you still feel trapped in this this situation here all right because i see you and it's reverse energy and imprisonment so it's something about this situation that make you feel trapped and confined and like i said you guys can have assets together you guys can have children together it's something here that's holding you to this person let's see why is the eight of wands in reverse Yeah, you can't offer this person stability. I feel like you want to go towards this person and apologize because, like, basically, right as things were starting to get good, you had to shift your focus. Hold on. Right as things were starting to get good between you and this new person, I feel like you had to shift your focus back to trying to mend something old. And even if it was just mending things for you or finding out what you needed to know to, like, navigate forward i feel like it was necessary in your eyes it's like you know what well, i gotta do this it's no way around it you know i feel like now that you left this person could be they could have been really free spirited and, and like ready to leap towards you but when you come back the second time around it could be literally like a little bit of resistance because this person is going to be protective and wondering why you back all right why is the queen of swords here in reverse and that's kind of that energy too. So you guys can definitely have some verbal exchange here. I mean, I'm talking about like abrasive. Yeah, so this person may not want another chance. They could have went through some type of miscarriage and you wasn't there for it. They just feel unloved by you, man. They feel like you abused your power with them. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and, yeah, and you do feel guilty, especially if you're finding out about some type of miscarriage that this person may have had with your child. you feeling hella guilty. Why is, I mean, even if you didn't want a child, it's kind of like whoever this is, they expressing that they went through that on their own, you know? And so that could be painful for them, but also internally it's, in pain, it's painful for you too because you're not the type of person that would typically leave somebody hanging when they're going through a hard a trial like that. Let alone when it's with your own seed. Why is the lovers here? Ooh, child, come on. These cards be flipping and tripping. <clears throat> Why is lovers in reverse here? Somebody can literally be choked up about this. Why is the lovers in reverse here? Yeah, man. So I'm definitely getting that. You are going to discover down the line, Virgo, that you snuck away from somebody that was actually wish fulfillment for you. Because I see you walking away from something that you wish to have. And so that could be why the lovers is in reverse. Because the lovers in reverse often can speak on a choice between lovers but it can also speak on somebody that feel like they made a wrong decision here why is the world in reverse here for virgo towards their third person or third party yeah you want to set yourself free from this situation but i feel like it's society standards that's keeping you with this individual like maybe people are so used to seeing you guys together and i keep getting that i keep getting that a lot like people that could have been like high school sweethearts or something to that extent. But somebody here is definitely feeling as though um, they can't break away from something to go towards something that they want because they have too much history with the person that they want to leave behind. All right. Why is the death here in reverse? Could be dealing with an Aries or Sagittarius. Did I say that? Yeah. Yeah, you feel like it's the wrong thing to do to move away from this individual. So I feel like you you feel like the best thing to do is just to like contain yourself, tame yourself. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it's someone else. It's this other person over here. Oh wow. And you guys are literally confused because it's like, do I stay married or get a divorce? 
because this situation over here, you feel like it's causing problems in your connection. And not like it's like purposely, like not like this person is over here purposely trying to mess up your life, Virgo. But I'm definitely getting that, you know, you, you having a hard time because you're the type of person that when you get married, that's it. You never divorcing that person. And now it's like somebody coming in and changing your perspective and you don't really like that. You know, you feel a soulmate connection with whoever this is, your husband, your wife. I'm getting wife because I'm getting a queen of wands here, Aries Leo Sagittarius. All right, but maybe you feel like you're not getting attention or maybe you feel like you're not getting accept the success. Maybe you feel like you guys have grown as much as you can grow. Why is the six of wands in reverse here? Mm -hmm. You guys have a family together. Maybe one of you guys wants to expand and have more kids. The other one doesn't. It's something here. But it's also that your family is watching, Virgo. Like, your family may want you to be with this person. And you feel like you set an example because maybe you guys, especially if you guys are like high school sweethearts or something like that, you just don't want to be apart from this person. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? It's a, I mean... There's a sense of, like, boredom and lack of passion. Yeah. Yes, man. You feel like this new person is your path. Damn. All right. Why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Ooh. Shit. Family room in reverse. You don't want to abandon your family. Your wife could actually be expecting again. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah. Mature woman in reverse occupation in reverse so maybe this person is too social <sighs> it's something here you don't feel like they're mature really maybe they like try to keep up with the trends and like social life it's something about impulsive behavior so i don't know if this person can go from zero to 100 real quick or like every little thing that happens, they threaten to leave because I get impulsive energy for a lot of different things. Like it doesn't have to just be that they gamble with the connection. It could be, well, I mean, that technically is gambling with the connection where it's like, okay, if you say something that's not flattering to this individual, they can threaten to leave. You know, this person is popular already. They got a support system when it comes down to family and friends. Um, maybe this person is tired of working it out. Maybe they not working. It's something here. Why is occupation in reverse spirit? I'm about to pick these cards up and start all over again. Why is occupation in reverse here? Yeah, so if your wife is pregnant, that's why they're not working. Why is the two of pentacles in reverse? And that could be why you feel like you got to stay because you ain't about to leave them hanging. I feel like you even communicating this to this person over here for some of you. If not, verbally, telepathically. Okay, let's get one on the two of cups. And you still feel a soulmate connection with the person you're trying to leave behind too. Poverty in reverse. You probably came up with this person. And so that's why you masking your emotions. Sudden wealth in reverse. You don't want to make a choice, but you feel divinely guided to, to make a change here, Virgo. So let's go ahead and switch up that tempo and get the cross watchers energy towards you. What is the cross watchers energy towards Virgo? I 
I don't know why I feel the need to shuffle so many times. What is the cross watcher's energy towards Virgo spirit? Okay, so the person that you had to leave behind, they like waiting for you. I feel like this person is definitely making space for you. They know that you're coming back. They know you got to wrap, tie up loose ends here with the Unfinished Symphony and Building Blocks. They could definitely be trying. Like, they are actively waiting, okay? So they, they, they see you cleaning up. They know that you haven't went by the book and you feel guilty by that. But they know that this connection is milk and honey. It's the Ten of Cups. So they realize that you got to clean up your life before you come towards them and you see them as your tribe, all right? Even though you already have a family, I feel like you see this person as somebody that's supposed to be a part of your life. All right, what is the, the Cross Watchers energy towards their third party, if any? What is the Cross Watchers energy towards their third party? Time for a nap in reverse. To the sea. So I definitely feel like whoever this was, um, the person that they was dealing with was definitely sleeping on them. And the person that was with was sleeping on them. And with the to the sea here, this person is definitely on like a soul mission to basically find their worth because of a situation where somebody slept on them, you know, but maybe they like so, so ready to take action. Now all that glitter is this person has good discernment here. So they can see right through the bullshit, the glitz, the glam. They allow the divine to lead them. And that's definitely a good thing. You know, anybody that's like, Gun hold on having faith in the divine is good. All right. Why is Unfinished Symphony here? For the Cross Watchers energy towards Virgo. Why is Unfinished Symphony here? Ten of Swords in reverse. So they already know. Like, it might have hurt when you walked away. But this person knows that you're coming back to heal the connection. To pull the knives out of their back. Or pull the swords out of their back. This person just knows. They know it's not over. Or they feel like that. Because for some of you, you could be feeling like it is over. But this person feels like it's not over. All right. They are nervous, though, that this may never turn into something that's solid. And, like, you guys may never have a foundation. I feel like they're trying to lay a foundation. And the way she's, like, kind of looking out into the horizon, it made me feel like they're kind of waiting for you to come back. Why is building blocks here? Just hoping that they're not doing it in vain. Okay. Why is building blocks here? So they're definitely not happy. They feel emotionally drained. They could be putting up new boundaries here now. Yeah, since you guys haven't been talking. They can very well be the queen of wands in your life. But the, if not, this person is definitely working on their beauty. You know, they could definitely be working on their body. Um, growing their hair. Just doing stuff to make themselves more beautified. Why is the cleanup here? For Virgo. Yeah, they know you got to go and break up with somebody. They know that you guys are still attached to something that's lower vibrational. Even if this person has never admitted that. Like, yeah, I know you in another relationship. I feel like their intuition told them. They're just hoping that you choose wisely. Yeah, because they really do love you. They do. They hope you choose them. Okay, because this could be the Queen of Wands energy. They know you're not talking to them anymore because you have a Queen of Wands. And they're your Queen of Cups. So they're just ready for you to come back and just receive the love that they have to give here. 
why it's time for a nap here as it pertains to the cross watchers energy towards their third party mm -hmm, devil in reverse I mean, I feel like your person was sleeping on this person, too, because they didn't realize how much of a devil this person was. They didn't realize how toxic this individual was. So they stopped, like, being a sleeping giant is what I'm getting here because I feel like sleep or nap or, you know, anything like that can definitely be speaking to the the opposite effect of being conscious. So maybe this person just wasn't conscious on how toxic their past person was. And whoever that is wants them back. They want them back. Like I said, that whoever this is with the time for a nap, the person that they were dealing with before you, they no longer want to be under a break. They like, no, let's get back together. Let's talk. They want to work it out, but I feel like your person doesn't. Why is the to the C here? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They are withdrawing some type of offer from this individual. Or in the past, this person withdrew an offer from them. I'm getting the Eight of Cups in reverse. So that person is coming back into your person's life. Two of Pentacles. And they basically don't have to choose between you and them. So it's looking like you're not the only person that have to choose between an ex and a new love. Okay. Why is all that glitters here? Man, somebody is holding on to a facade. Why is all that glitters here? And it could be your person. I feel like they really stuck on the beginning stages of y'all connection. And just how it felt so good. And how it was like such an equal exchange. And then the abandonment came. And this person is really hoping that you're feeling this connection to um, Virgo to come back to it. Because they really see this as like... A once in a lifetime type of love. All right, so let's get the final outcome. I finally kept it at a decent time. Oh, it's still at 30 minutes. All right. All right, Spirit, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels and Ancestors. What is the current outcome between Virgo and their primary person? Balance. You feel like this person definitely brings balance and focus into your life. I keep saying this, but they could be like a muse to you where you just, they just make you want to focus on the higher dimensional aspects of life and not just like be aimless. This person wants, makes you want to put your focus somewhere. Okay, what's the final outcome between Virgo and their side person? Nourishment. The path is in reverse and self-love is in reverse. So I do feel like you're trying to go back and nurture this connection. Maybe you learned a lot from this new person and you're trying to go back and take that energy back to your old person. And it might not be working. In fact, it may be just allowing this person to realize that you've been inter interacting with somebody that's completely different because you're bringing that energy home or you're bringing that energy around them. All right. What is the final outcome between the cross watcher and their third party? masculine yep discernment in reverse so whoever this person is dating on the side or they left behind I feel like this person feels like they still have some type of precedence over your person's life because they see their self as your person's masculine with discernment in reverse hunger and realization in reverse I do feel like this person hasn't realized that your person has moved on completely, romantically, financially, in every aspect of the word. And so, like I said, they could be trying to come back 
So I feel like both of you have exes interfering. There's definitely a need to kind of like what you've been trying to do, kind of um, analyze what it is that you want to do so you can make a proper decision, okay? All right, guys, go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.